I saw just a shadowing of this, a, a, a glimpse of it, something that reminded me of how God can take a, a little and do a lot. Uh, when I watched the movie Apollo 13, and I saw in the movie, you know, there's this crisis, and, and, and it's, a, it's a true story, basically. Uh, the, 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 the trauma with the guys in the ship and the carbon dioxide levels are increasing and they're in trouble and they don't have what they think they will require to meet the need. And the need is real. And they're not sure they're going to be able to take what they have because it doesn't seem like what they have can get it done. Uh, but they, they get help. They ask for help. Anybody here ever ask for help? I'll tell you, I, I have and I do. Because I, I look and I realize I've got to have a team around me. I've got to have partners with me. And I've got to have the help of Almighty God in my life if I'm going to get anything done. Well, these guys ask for help. And I want you to see just this brief clip from that scene in the movie Apollo 13. Gene, we have a situation brewing with the carbon dioxide. We had a CO2 filter problem on the lunar module. Five filters on the limb. Which were meant for two guys for a day and a half. So I told the doctor. They're already up to eight on the gauges. Anything over 15, and you get impaired judgment, blackouts, the beginnings of brain asphyxia. What about the scrubbers on the command module? They take square cartridges. The ones on the limb are round. Well, I suggest you gentlemen invent a way to put a square peg in a round hole. Rapidly. Okay, people, listen up. People upstairs handed us this one, and we got to come through. We got to find a way to make this fit into the hole for this using nothing but that. Let's get it organized. Okay, okay, let's build a filter. The deadly CO2 gas is literally poisoning the astronauts with every breath in and out. Heads up, heads up. That's people will not comment further. Go, 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 go. What's this? That's what they gotta make. Well, I hope you got the procedures for me. Right here. That's it? All right, now the other materials you're going to need here are uh, a lithium hydroxide canister, two, two lithium hydroxide canisters, I'm sorry, a roll of gray tape, duct tape, another duct tape, you need an LCG bag, two LCG bags, uh, red suit hoses, and you've got the white plate cover. What sock? Once you have the sock in place, we're going to want you to uh, yeah. Bungee the entire filter assembly to the bulkhead. Right above the limb can. We're getting close to 15. Houston, filter's in place. Roger, 13. Suits are a relief to close. CO2 canister. Select to secondary. All right. Here goes. I can hear air moving. Just bring normal fellas. Aquarius, uh, please advise the CO2 status. Ah, uh, yeah, Houston, we're taking a look at those numbers right now. Uh, we're still holding close to 15, Houston. Roger that, standing by. Houston, the CO2 level has dropped to nine, and it is still falling. Yes. That is good to hear, Aquarius. And you, sir, are a steely-eyed missile man. <laughs> you know, it's a pretty cool clip, and uh, without getting too hokey, I want to say this, because it really does reflect the reality of what happened with Apollo 13. What was at stake? Three lives, a couple of billion dollars. And you heard, the, you heard the man say, the people upstairs have handed us this one, and we've got to come through. And that was for three lives and a couple of billion dollars. In this world where we are today, not the people upstairs, 
But the Lord Jesus has handed us this one. And we've got to come through. And what he calls us to is not the rescue of three and the redemption of a couple of billion dollars. What he calls us to is the rescue of six billion people. And the future and the destiny of the planet Earth. He calls us to step up. The one upstairs who brought up there down here has handed this to us, and we got to come through.